Well, Craig Hearts of Saints, you are an exciting group, to say the least. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Well, a lot of good things have been happening. How did you all get started? Where did that name come from? Well, five years ago, let me take you back even further than that. Nine years ago, I met Jason, the guy sitting back there on the drums. Um, we started playing music, and, you know, God puts people in your lives, and it's no coincidence about how relationships happen. And he ended up introducing me to LJ. And then LJ introduced um, us to Joel, and five years ago we became the band that we are now. Um, and actually we started off with a different name. The name was Special D. Um, that's a long story, but the long story short is that there was another guy named Special D, and he was not, I don't think he was a fan of Jesus by the type of content he, produ he was producing. Mm -hmm. And So we changed our name to Hearts of Saints, and... Uh, been kicking it since. And where does that come from, Hearts of That's really a catchy name. I really, It just rolls off the tongue. Where did well, it come you. from? Well, uh, we picked a good book. We picked it out of the Bible. <laughs> always, a, always a good thing. Always a good thing. It's actually from Philemon 1-4. Mm -hmm. And Paul is writing to Philemon. Um, I'm encouraged by your kindness and faith because you have refreshed the hearts of the saints. Mm -hmm. And that's what we hope our music does. I mean, we hope that it not only refreshes the saints of today, but the future saints, the unchurched, the people who don't know Jesus. Mm -hmm. um, we've always said we want to be a great band. Um, it just happens that we all believe in Jesus. You know, we want to be good because we're good, not because we're Christian. Mm -hmm. But everything we do because we love Jesus is going to drip with that and Him. And so mm -hmm. it's going to be hope inspired. And, and so you haven't always known the Lord. No, I, I didn't always know the Lord. He always knew me. Mm -hmm. um, I, I didn't. Isn't that a comfort too? <laughs> yeah. Isn't that a comfort that He knows us? Yeah, Isn't that a comfort? And, you know, and he, it's funny how I heard someone last week talk about how we chase God, but really he's chasing us. He's passionate about being in relationship with us. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I, I grew up in church. And I know there's probably a lot of people out there that, that are in church um, and, and may look the look, talk the talk. That was me. Um, I, I looked like a Christian. I looked like someone who knew Jesus. But until my freshman year of college, I, I really didn't. Um, it, wild story, but I'm, I'm, I'm trying to sleep two or three in the morning, and Ezekiel pops in my head. And a couple of days before, I'd been talking with a friend about, you know, what God looked like. And I told my friend, I literally said to him, I, I don't know. We can't know what God looks like. So I can't sleep. Ezekiel's in my head. You know, I'm a church boy, but I don't, there's no reason. I mean, my Bible is, I pick my Bible up at two in the morning. It's dusty. Like the dust is falling off of it. There is a difference in knowing God and knowing about him. That's right. There is a difference. I knew how to play people. I knew, you know, I knew how to pretend. Um, but I, I literally pulled my Bible out and I couldn't sleep. And there's no reason for Ezekiel to be in my head. That's not something that just randomly pops in your head. Mm -hmm. And I go to Ezekiel 1 and it talks about his vision for what God looked like. And so I'm freaking out. <laughs> Two in the morning, I'm on my knees freaking out, thinking, is God talking to me? And I get to Ezekiel 2, and Ezekiel 2 says, Son of man, stand on your feet, for I'm speaking to you. And for the first time in my life, the God of the universe, the creator of the author of everything, I knew he was directly talking to me. Mm -hmm. And I haven't been the same since. Well, so. you know what I believe? I believe that the God of the universe is speaking to some people right now. Definitely. I think he's speaking to you. Would you pray for folks? Because I believe the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God is drawing people. Sure. And uh, let's, let's pray that uh, he does reveal himself in a big, big way sure. to them. Yeah, I mean, and, and I just want to say this to anybody out there. Um, I'm a flawed human being. We, all four of us in Hearts of Saints, we love Jesus, but we're messy. And we believe in a God that takes care of our messes that in the midst of it can help change us. Um, Romans 10, 9 says, confess with your mouth, believe with your heart. And it's, it's really sometimes we complicate it, but that's it. That's the gospel, people. Wherever you're at, you know, if you're in a, your living room or wherever you're at in the kitchen making dinner, he is with you. Emmanuel, God with us through your messes. And he just wants you to just come to him and ask him to be in your heart. He just wants our heart. So, I, yeah, I'd love to pray. And uh, let's just do that now. God, we just want to come before you with hearts, with hearts that yearn to be close to you, Father. God, we're all needy. We all need to die daily to ourselves because we are human beings and we are flawed. From birth, God, we are flawed. But Father, we need you. 
God, that you would recapture our hearts and set us on fire. God, I know there's a lot of people out there that are watching this that probably are in church and maybe going through something hard. Father, they need to be reassured that you are exactly who you say you are and that you are good in the midst of that, Father. And I just pray that you would speak that encouragement and that, 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 that doubt that might be wrestling in their mind, Father, that you would calm that, Father, and that you would reassure them that you are the King of Kings. And I know there's a lot of people out there that are stumbling probably on this site, on this TV station, that don't know you, and they don't know why they've stopped, but they're stopped. They may even think this is hokey because it's Christian TV. But God, I just, I just pray that you speak to them in such a dramatic way that they, they couldn't deny that you are love and that you are hope. And you're the only reason that we have to live, Father. God, we trust you and we know your word says if we confess with our mouth and believe with our heart that you will save us, Father. And so I just ask that. And if you're out there and, and you need to pray this, I mean, this is something we need to pray every day, but just pray this with me. God, I need you. God, I need you. And I confess. And I confess. That I'm nothing without you. That I'm nothing without you. God, give me life. Give me life. Because I know. Because I know. Your son died for me. Your son died for me. Thank you that your son died for me. Thank you that your son died for me. God, I trust you. God, I trust you. And I give you my life. And I give you my life. And it's in his son's name we pray. And it's in the son's name we pray. Amen. 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 Well, Hearts of Saints, thank you all so much for being here. And, oh, thank you. And thanks to Todd Larson, and thank you for being here. Remember to keep Jesus first in your life. Until I see you next time, this is Melanie Walker with Sessions. We're going to end the evening with Hearts of Saints and Recapture Me. Mm -hmm. I confess, I confess my heart The distance makes it difficult to start I feel as far from love as one could be but Listen, listen to my plea And set my heart on fire Set my heart on fire, oh God. Set my heart on fire, oh God, oh God. On my knees, on my knees, hands to the sky. It seems a thousand times I've asked you why From the crashing of the dark I hear your call And it seems I'm not forsaken after all And now my heart's on fire Oh God And now my heart
sacrifice my 